Hi everybody, my name is Paul and today I'm going to show you how to um, gather some live data off of the web directly within Excel. So first thing we're going to do is create a new workbook here and it's going to be blank. And <clears throat> one of the really cool things is that there's this new data um, connection called from the web. And so what you can do is you can actually go out and grab live tables from the web. I've grabbed Sports Illustrated, the Major League Baseball standings, and I'm a Chicago guy, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the National League Central standings. And you'll notice that I can actually grab the entire thing, but it's, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throttle some of that back. Let's say import. It's going to ask us what cell we want to put it into. We can put it wherever we want. It's going to go out and grab the data and import it. Now, one of the really cool things that you may or may not have seen yet is that you'll notice that we're breaking it out by region, right? So we have east, central, west. What I want to do is I'm going to create a quick uh, bar chart here just to see if I can graphically show what the, uh, what the diff different teams are doing. So we're going to go insert column. I'm just going to choose the stock columns here. I'm going to move it over a little bit. And it's going to say select data. And what I want to do is I want to select the national wins and losses. And we have W, but I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. So let's edit it and call it wins. And let's call L losses. And let's say OK. Now look at that. Pretty slick. Now from right from the web, I'm getting live data. And from that live data now, whenever I crack open this website or this uh, Excel spreadsheet, it's going to update the data. And also, I'm getting a graphical representation of wins and losses. So um, this is really cool. And I, and I think that I hopefully they think that this is useful. Uh,